Thanks, Dan. Time now for a weekend cover story. This week, the staggering cost of so-called free education rising at almost double the rate of inflation. So new data out has showed that Melbourne is the most expensive, setting parents back more than $100,000 over the 13 years of schooling. Wow, that is a lot of money. The national average sits at more than 87,000. Sydney, almost 90,000. Brisbane, just over 80. While Perth and Adelaide are around $85,000. Let's dive deeper into this. Joining us now here in the studio, Western Sydney parents, Tatiana and Neil Jones, along with their kids, Annie Melbourne, Kate Hill from Futurity Investment Group, the company behind this data. Good morning, one and all. Good, Good morning. Morning. Morning, morning. morning. Great to see some little ones in the studio too. Very cute. Uh, Tatiana, to you first. Three girls, triplets yep. at school. Congratulations, girls. Are we excited for school? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I'm not so sure about that one, Cliff. Um, <laughs> so, how much is it going to cost to send your kids oh. to school, do you think? I mean, because this is the harsh reality of what we're talking about this morning. It yeah. is, it is. So, initially, when we looked at the cost, it was going to cost about $2,000. So, We've had to think outside the box and we've managed to get it to about the thousand dollar mark with the help of, um, you know, Neil's mum and also my parents. I guess, you know, you've got triplets so it's a bit of a triple whammy so you're always probably yeah. prepared for some, you know, outlaying some cash but is it as more expensive than you thought it was going to be? Well, I think anything, like you said, with triplets is a shock. Mm. Like, it just is a shock. So I think just thinking outside that box and, like, getting more savvy with how to how to save, really. Yeah. So well, how is that? How do you be more savvy? Re-budget. Yeah. <laughs> ask, ask um, you know, you your parents for shoes in, for <laughs> Christmas presents instead. So, yeah, that's how you get more savvy. And you're making sacrifices. I mean, this is a real dilemma for many families out there. Oh, definitely, definitely. I think the biggest one for us was, um, oops. Drop your glasses. <laughs> Whack them back on. Well uh, done. We've had to sell a business. Um, yeah. I was working 12-hour days. So we both work online now. So I'm at I'm home now. Um, as you know, it's a team effort here. So I'm there to help out. I'll take them to school, pick them up, get the kids ready, feed them. I mean, his, you wouldn't have it any other way, though, right? No. No, wouldn't change it at all. Plus, we've got a two-year-old as well. Oh. So. Yeah, it's full on. <laughs> you know, it's a bit of a collective effort it's with a everyone. Effort. It's yeah. a real juggle, that's for sure. Uh, let's bring you in now, Kate. It is uh, shocking the amount families that have to pay in this is public education. Uh, can you break down the cost for us? Certainly. What our research has shown is that um, the cost of education, as you saw on the screen earlier, is a lot more than parents expect when they first look to send their children off to school. So um, what we've found for a government education is that only 5% of the total cost of education is actually related to school fees or those voluntary contributions, um, whereas 95% are all of those ancillary costs. You've just heard about getting getting shoes for a Christmas present, and that's, that's exactly it. It's all of the school uniforms, sports uniforms, um, musical instruments, outside tuition, uh, electronic devices, and the list really does go on. So, Kate, it's worrying. I mean, where you are in Melbourne this morning, $100,000 mm. to send a kid to school for 13 years. I mean, what else is driving all these prices up? Because it, it does need to be arrested, mm. surely. That's it. What we've found is that the cost of education has increased at around double the rate of inflation over the last decade. So now we're starting to see inflation really skyrocket. Let's hope that we see a, a reversal in that trend. But uh, certainly there's nothing on the horizon that would suggest that um, school fees won't continue to increase. Um, what we do know, though, is that um, all of those ancillary costs, there are things that parents can do around trying to limit those as much as possible as we head back to school. Well, school's back next week, so what are some of those tips? Absolutely. Saving is one of those critical things. Um, and knowing um, ahead that you've got some money set aside, um, ideally in a dedicated savings account or vehicle, just gives you a bit more peace of mind knowing that when all of those start of the year expenses come up that you're ready to go. Um, planning ahead, so understanding exactly um, the type of education that you're planning for your children and how much that is going to set you back. Um, swapping things out. So 
there's no need really um, necessarily to buy things brand new. Mm. Uh, so looking at going to the secondhand um, school uniform shop yeah. or secondhand textbooks, that's also really important. And shopping around for some of those extras like musical instruments, if that's what your child's into, um, and other um, sporting equipment and things like that. Um, and finally, ask questions. So there are some questions you can ask your school, particularly as we've seen where you have multiple children. Um, some schools offer a multi-child discount, as well as that if you are in a financial position where you could pay school fees uh, up front at the start of the year, um, some schools offer a pay up front discount. Uh, hey, Kate, thanks so much uh, for your advice. Very, mm. very good advice as well. Very um, Taniana Neil. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and good luck Have to fun. Indy and Anastasia and Leilani as well. When's the big day? Is it Monday or Tuesday? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to smash it. Going to start making the lunches now, I reckon. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. a whole other task yeah. in itself, that's for sure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. No worries. Thanks.